In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Do not doubt. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, rejoice. Philippians 4, verse 4. It is the privilege of everyone who has a part in any branch of the Lord's work to know that his sins are forgiven and to rejoice in the assurance of a higher life in the courts above. This hope is more precious than silver or gold or precious stones. Keep this hope ever bright and seek to impart it to others. In the knowledge that God's smile rests upon you, your heart will be filled with joy and peace. Heed the gracious invitation of Christ. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Matthew 11 verses 28 through 30. Let all seek for that rest which Christ has promised. You are to reveal to the world the truth of his words. You are to show that in wearing the yoke of Christ there is genuine happiness. Do not, by doubting God's words, dishonor Him. As you believe in Him, He will cooperate with you in your efforts, and in union with Him you may perform an acceptable work. Through the righteousness that He imparts, you may escape the corruption that is in the world through lust. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, rejoice. Oh, that we might hear more of the praise of God proceeding from thankful hearts. We need Christians who constantly live in the sunshine, who under all circumstances can praise the Lord. With the hope and assurance that Christ has promised, how can we be unhappy? There is no excuse or justification for any Christian to be discontented. Never give the impression that you are disappointed with the way that Christ has marked out for you to follow. Our characters are to be conformed to the image of Christ. In deed and in truth, we are to be amendable to the law of God. Then he can demonstrate through us the blessings that come through obedience to the principles of his word. The King of Heaven stands ready to acknowledge the humblest soul that serves Him.